right welcome back to a new week with sun team i really really wanted to use drift loom and i realized it's it's not underwhelming but it's kind of hard to use but it gets weather ball this generation so i figured how can i get swept most efficiently and it looks something like this that said though meanwhile is probably beating me really easily and so does the chomp to an extent so that said to my opponent no Good luck, have fun. Starts up with Mival, that's uh, mildly annoying. Not terrible though. Definitely, I like I said, the matchup is not that bad. Uh, I do think I'm gonna Quake though. See, withdrawals, that's fair. You wouldn't bring Toe Chase, who, who would? Absolute insanity. Could pack Aura Sphere then, I guess. Let's find out. Like, that would be the only play, right? Air Slash makes no sense. Yeah, <laughs> piss off, mate. Yeah, I'm bolting. <laughs> Shadow Ball would probably be the easy play, but yeah, Thunderbolt does fair, fair enough here for me. Um, how much will it do? Oh yeah, that's right. And his cripple. Nice. Exactly what I wanted. Those 10% man, I'm telling you. Exactly what we want and need for this particular matchup. Will it go for an ice shard play is the question. I mean, knockoff is still Kai. No, because he's crippled. There would, he has to go for an ice shard. That's what Troy can definitely take it. Because he loses the speed tier, right? Gets a good strength sap back. Wow, Shadow Claw. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, fair enough. Ooh. Right, Stone Edge this time. Ooh, that did a lot. And that's unstabbed too. Right, withdraws. Please bring in Toei Kiss this time. Yes. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Fucking ruin him. Mm, piece of shit. <laughs> like, I most likely will lose the matchup, but I sure as hell he's not going down without a fight. Assumeril is kind of up there though. Yeah. Bring in the sun. Mainly to like it's still gonna hurt me a whole lot because of huge power, but Oh it's belly drum. Nice. So I gotta ask myself the obvious question. Which Pokemon do I sack? I mean, to an extent, I guess this Troya is my most expendable mon. I just really like being able to use this, but it might not be able to, you know, do any any favors. Ooh, yeah, it is not pretty. Ah, this is tough. Yeah, this is Troy. I'm sorry. I just need to bring Victory Bell, like, basically back. Oh, Jet. I'm not sure that kills. Actually, it did. Does the crit matter? I mean, probably not, right? Um, But, yeah, like... It's it's time. It is time, and uh, like his best switch in is Magnusone, and trust me, it's not it. Aqua Jet is still gonna hurt. 
but yeah, nowhere near a KO, which is nice. Still a crit. I was like, that did way more than it's supposed to. Hmm. Yeah, not great. Not great. Guess I gotta reconsider whether or not I use Life Orb. Or Strength Sap, for that matter. In Inferno Garchomp comes in, alright. Yeah, absolutely attacking. Hoping it isn't Scarfed. That's basically my play. Yeah, we do out speed. Um... I shouldn't be able to KO it, but definitely should be able to hurt it quite a lot, which is more more than necessary for this type of speed here. Yeah, that's great. I'll take it. And he goes for Poison Jab. Alright. That's fair. This also means that I don't necessarily need... Um, um, hmm. Yeah. Because the only play I got here, which kind of works for me, is just going for a very safe Psychic. If it goes into me while I clearly U-turns. This is time we draw. I think that's fair. Sunlight faded. That's what it does. Do out speed, which is nice. Probably killing him. Killing him dead. <laughs> You've got nobody. Okay. So. I think I made a terrible mistake with... Um, I'm supposed to have Heat Rock on that freaking Torkoal. I was thinking maybe that sun goes a little bit fast. And it definitely did. So let's see, with the remaining mons, if Garchomp comes in, I clearly stay in for a Strength Sap, hoping to manage it. If this guy comes in, then we have problems. He can just Volt Switch, I think. Right? Let's find out. Manorize. That's kind of cool. It's not going to save you, though. Not that I enjoy the Thunderbolt at all, but... Um, oh, yeah, I don't. Lava Plume probably KOs. Yep. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um... Here comes the chump. He has chump left and he has the Infernape. Alright. Going to take a risk here. But I'm pretty sure he got a quake. Let's find out. Oh, wow, yeah, big boy play, big boy play, fine, he got me, ouch. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't pretty. <laughs> ouch. Alright, that was cool, fine. <laughs> Still though, like, the way I see it, his best play is... Um, He's spamming Flare Blitz with his, um, with his Infernape. So it all depends what type of Infernape this is, but I really don't want him to be able to um, capitalize on, uh, on the sun. So I'm switching this in to pretty much negate any future sun U-turns. Ooh. Oh, he's life-orbed. So... 
that means I win this. I think. I'm quaking. I mean, I'm not sure I can take a close combat, but... Uh, oh, that's a thunder punch. That's not gonna help. Oh, no! Torkoal? Torkoal? Make it work? Yes! Ha ha ha! It's not gonna kill anyway. <laughs> the question is, like, he clearly needs to go for another... Another one of those. Um, he has to be, um, maybe Iron Fist, right? Close combat, right? Guess not. Though, one Thunder Punch might be more than enough to um, to kill my <laughs> Heidenberg. I'm just going to string stab him. I clearly want to just make him fall through life warp. But I'm pretty sure that uh, Thunder Punch kills me. Yep. <laughs> Let's see, does he fall? Ha ha ha! Got him. Alright, there we go. That was a very, very, very shaky Sun Team battle. Nice. That said, Nor, thanks so much for the battle. And everyone watching, as always, thank you for doing just so. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, everyone.